So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create quests with script. The plugins you'll be needing are just script and citizens. First thing you're going to need to do is just hop into your text editor on right click on entity. If name of entity is minor, so this can be anything, but just make sure it's the name of the entity we're going to create later on. Then we're going to say npc one click, then the player's UID equals to false. And up here, just if this variable is not set, set the variable to false. Then once it's checked the variable is false, we're going to set it to true. Basically what this is doing, it's making sh sure so the player can only click the NPC once while it's talking to you, so you can't spam click it, which would break the script. Now we're going to go down two lines. Okay, so what I've typed here is if NPC1, which is this variable, is equal to zero. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do question mark then zero. So if it's not set, it will set it to zero. Now here, so send, and then it's going to say minor, then just a line. Hello, percent player percent. So that's going to be the player's name. I am a minor and I have a quest for you to player. Then after that, we're going to say play sound. Then the sound I've chosen is block.noteblock.bit at volume one and pitch one to player. Now we're going to do wait delay seconds so right now script doesn't know what we mean by delay so we're going to go up here put this down a bit we're going to type options delay and we're going to set it to something like two now we can just copy paste this now what i've done here is i've just changed the text to complete this quest and i'll reward you now you can just copy paste this again and i've changed the text again to for my next for my first quest i need you to mine five stone good luck and now what I've typed here after this is send then in bold green quest received, then align mine five stone for the miner. Then after that, it plays a sound, uh, note block bit again, but this time it's at pitch two, so it's a bit higher. And then it sets this variable to one instead of zero. Then down here, we're going to set this variable, which was set up here, to false. So we can now click the NPC again. And then down here, we're going to do on block break. If event block is stone or cobblestone. Now here, what I've typed is if NPC1 one quest 1, so this is just going to be the variable for this first quest. If it's not set, it sets it to 0. But if it's smaller than 5, it will add 1 to that variable. Now we're going to do else stop so this also if it's bigger than five five or bigger then it will stop and not add anything to it now here what i've added is if the variable is equal to five also if it's not set we're just doing that just in case if it's equal to five it will send quest finished return to the miner and then it will play a sound now another thing let's just open up a line here command slash quests trigger now it's going to send quests with dashes on either side then if npc1 which is this variable if it is equal to one which we set it here it will say mine five stone and then the progression you have so this is this variable down here out of five now up here we could just make some space now now what i've typed here is it checks if this npc1 variable is equal to one and if it is it will check if this quest variable is equal to five that means you have mined five stone and what I've typed here is, it will say minor, then the line again. Good job, fellow minor. Here's your reward, one emerald. Then it will play a sound and give the player one emerald. Now here, it's the same thing as down here. It's just I've changed the text again. Now for my next quest, comma, and then plays a sound and waits. Now same thing here. Should have changed that. Minor, you need to go mine 10 cold ore. Then it says minor, you need to go mine 10 cold ore. Now here, it says quest received, mine 10 cold ore for the minor plays a sound with a higher pitch and sets this variable to two instead of one. Now we're just going to type else down here for if it's not equal to five. Then we're going to send minor return to me when you've mined five stone. That's going to play a sound. Now go down here and do if event block is call or. Oh mistake I made up here. Uh, she had changed this quickly. No idea how I messed this up. I'm just going to change that to this. And here also change it one to that okay that was a weird mistake i don't know how i messed that up but change that to this now you can just copy paste this code from up here down here so if npc1 quest 2 is not set set to zero uh, if it is smaller than 10 it will add one 
else if it is bigger than 10 it'll set it to 10 this is just this is just a debug thing this is just making sure you can't go higher than 10 because i had a mistake earlier where it did and just setting it back to 10 and then stop and then if npc1 quest 2 start set set to zero but if it is equal to 10 send quest finish return to the miner and then a sound now if we go back up here make some space and here, if MPC1 is not set to 0, of course, then if it's equal to 2. If MPC1 quest 2 is equal to 10, which is what we're doing down here. Send miner, good job fellow miner, here's your reward, 2 emeralds. Sound gives the player 2 emeralds, wait to lay seconds. Miner, that's all my quests for now, plays a sound and sets this to 3. Now we're just going to do an else statement for this. Now we're going to type miner, return to me when you've mined 10 coal ore. It's going to play a sound. Then down here, we're just going to copy paste this. Make it 2 and change this to 10 coal or change this to quest 2 out of 10. Now we can just copy all of this, head over to your minor dashboard, make sure you're in the scripts folder inside of scripts, inside of plugins. Create a new script called quests.sk. Inside of that, just paste this and hit save. Then in Minecraft, do sk reload quests or whatever you name the script. I name mine tests. This is just for testing purposes, yours, yours would be named quests.sk. Then once it's reloaded, you need to have the citizens plugin installed for this. So you're going to do slash npc create miner in dark gray. Then I'm going to do slash npc look, so it looks at the, the player. Then I'm going to do slash npc skin url and then paste this url in. You don't need to do this for the script to work, this is just for testing purposes. Now if you right click on the npc. Hello BugsMC, I am a miner and I have a quest for you. Complete this quest and I'll reward you. For my first quest, I need you to mine 5 stone. Good luck. Mine 5 stone for the miner. Okay, so if you do slash quests, it should say quests, miner, mine 5 stone, 0 out of 5. So if I place some stone quickly, mine 1, it should say 1 out of 5. If I mine all of them, it should say quest finished, return to the miner. Good job, fellow miner. Here's your reward, one emerald. <clears throat> and he gave me one emerald. Now for my next quest, I need to go mine 10 coal ore. Mine 10 coal ore for the miner. Okay, so if I search quests, mine 10 coal ore. If I break this, 5 out of 10. Now quest finish, return to the miner. Good job, fellow miner. Here's your reward, two emeralds. That's all my quests for now. Okay, cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you with creating quests for your server. If you need any help, make sure to join my Discord server. I'm active on there and I'm willing to help any of you. So yeah, make sure to check out all my other videos for how to make this tab and scoreboards and gen servers. It'll really support me. And yeah, cheers.